are learning four dogs have been euthanized after attacking a young woman last week. A report from the Knox County Sheriff's Office released earlier today details a 19 year old being sent to the hospital after five dogs reportedly attacked her along Crescent Drive in South Knox County. Now, witness telling deputies the victim was grabbing her purse from a home in South Knoxville when she was mauled. WAT6 on your side reporter Kirsty Crawford talked with the dog's owner who says she's not defending the dogs after the traumatic event. This is how Rodney Harold knew her dogs, never imagining they could turn violent. Harold didn't want to go on camera, but she did tell me that after learning what they had done to one of her son's friends, she knew she couldn't ever let it happen again. Deputies called to the Harold property on Friday, a witness saying five dogs were attacking a 19-year-old woman. The victim, returning to grab her purse, she left at one of the trailers in that area the night before. When deputies arrived, they say the victim jumped the fence, trying to get away from the animals. They found her naked, her clothes ripped off during the attack. She reportedly lost a lot of blood, multiple bite wounds visible on her arms and entire body. The 19-year-old unresponsive when EMS took her from the scene. Harold wasn't home when everything happened. Arriving after the victim was already heading to the hospital and after an officer shot one dog, deputies saying it was charging at them. She told officers they have an invisible shock barrier, not a fence. And as the four other dogs were being hauled away, deputies saying Harold yelled, quote, the dogs were doing their jobs. Harold says she doesn't remember saying that. She says it was a traumatic situation for everyone involved and that she's praying for the victim and her family. Reporting in Knoxville, Kirsty Crawford, WATE 6, on your side. Now, the dog's owner also says she and her family decided to euthanize all four dogs before young Williams asked what they wanted to do. We are working to find out how the 19-year-old victim is faring after the attack. Of course, we'll keep you posted.